Stop mixing your body lotions with your body oils. It's like trying to mix water and oil. Just doesn't quite work, does it? What are body oils? Body oils or oils are lipids. So basically what they do or what it does is to lubricate and soften the skin with continuous use. Lipids do not mix well with water. They require some form of force or heat to mix together. If you notice when you pour in body oil into your lotion, you have to continuously shake the bottle for it to somehow mix. And when you put it on your tabletop, it tends to separate or the body lotion or the cream you poured it in looks somehow. So how should you use or how should you apply body oils in your body routine? I'll explain that in a bit. First things first, let's talk about skin type. When it comes to the body, I believe we have either dry skin or oily skin as opposed to the face where you would say you have dry skin, normal skin, combination skin and oily skin. Personally, I fall under the dry category. So I love my body lotions to be rich and well whipped, tend to seal it up with any oil of my choice. Here are three body oils that I use and recommend, starting from the thinnest to the thickest. The first oil is Palmer's Cocoa Skin Therapy Oil. So this oil claims to help improve the appearance of scars, stretch marks, dry damaged skin, uneven skin tone, and aging skin. I didn't buy it because of the claims. I only wanted something lighter as opposed to my favorite body oil, which I will show you guys in a bit. It contains ingredients like cocoa butter, vitamin E, pure argan oil, natural oils, and so on. It is thin in consistency, very thin. It absorbs into the skin or it just blends into the skin really finely and it doesn't look greasy or leaves anyone's body with any sticky consistency. One thing I do not like about this body oil is that it is heavily fragrant and I sometimes find it overwhelming. But you see the dispenser, amazing it pumps out really well and i do not find the bottle you know running through my hands or being sticky and for under 10 pounds it's a very good steal i call this oil a dry oil because i've applied it to my skin but you wouldn't see it but i know that i have oil on my skin this body oil can be used by all skin types all skin tones it does not bleach the skin so the next body oil is a Vino Skin Relief Body Oil Spray. Now this one is recommended to those who have rough and dry skin. Its key ingredients are oat and jojoba oil. It is also a fragrance but not as heavy as that of the Palmos one. I'll show you guys the consistency right now. So it is slightly thicker in consistency as opposed to that of the Palmer's one. I'm just going to blend it into my skin. It's also not too thick or too runny. So you guys can see a difference. When I applied the Palmer's one, it went in really quickly. This one is close to being a dry oil as well, but you get to see it more. It is non-sticky, non-greasy. It is under eight pounds. One thing I do not like about this product is this pump. Oh my God. Such a frustrating pump to use. Doesn't dispense the product quickly. And another thing is that as opposed to the Palmer's one, when you have this oil on your palm, Holding the bottle, it kind of like slips. It feels like there's water on the bottle, whereas there is no water on the bottle, if that makes sense. Moving on to my favorite body oil of all time, it's the Vaseline Coco Radiant Body Oil. I have been using this body oil for years and I would keep using it and I would always recommend it to anybody. It's thick in consistency, I'll show you guys. It's almost empty, if not empty already. Um, please pump out, please. Okay. I'm going to have to do it this way. Wow. 
This is bad. <laughs> okay, just a little. This is what the oil looks like. It's gel-like, but when you blend it into your skin, it just does what it ought to do. See that? This is such a beautiful product to apply on your body. Like you feel good and you smell good. It's also fragrant, but I do not find it overpowering. Instead, I find it pleasing. And when I spray my perfume on this, it smells so good. Guys, you should definitely pick this up. It's under six pounds, I believe. Yeah, it's under six pounds. And one thing you should note that there are two types. So when you see it, don't be scared. There is the brown cover. This one is from the UK. And there is a blue cover, which is from the US. Weirdly, I prefer the brown cover to the blue cover. For a very tiny fact, I feel like I smell the cocoa butter in here more than that of the US version. So if you're going for a shoot or you're going for an event that has to do with lights and cameras, apply this on your body. When you see the photos you have been taken, <laughs> you are going to love it so much. It's non-greasy and a little goes a long way. Because it's in a gel format, don't go over packing. Go little by little, you can build up. So one thing I do not like about this product is the cover or this cap. It tends to break. And also, if it, if it doesn't break, it doesn't close well. See, I have been trying to close this for a long time. One thing Vaseline can do differently is to change this cap to something better because this is not working. It's not, it's not good. We don't like it. <laughs> we actually do not like it. That, like if they could just change the cover, this is fabulous. Also, if Avino can change their pump, wonderful. Any of these body oils can be used by all skin tone and skin type. But if you have sensitive skin, I highly recommend you go with anything that contains oatmeal. So the Avino one would be perfect for your skin type because Oatmeal helps to suit the skin. So when you have like redness, any irritation, always go for a product that contains oatmeal. It's best for you that has sensitive skin. If you have oily skin and you want something very lightweight, pick up the Palmer's Body Oil. This is a dry oil. Like I said, it feels like you have nothing on your skin, but then you have something in your skin. Whereas the rest of us can just use either of them. None of this oil will bleach or make your skin darker. So go ahead and pick them up. How to use body oils in your body routine. So when you're done showering, make sure you towel dry your body, apply your body lotion, apply your body cream. When that has sunk into your skin, then you can proceed to apply your body oil over it. That way you are sealing everything and the body lotion would have melted into your skin. Also, you can decide to apply the body oil directly to your skin after towel drying. Some people just apply oil straight. If you're in the category that likes to mix body lotion with body oil, do not pour the body oil into your body lotion. Here's what to do. Dispense the body lotion or cream into your palm, then dispense the oil on it, then use your palm to work them together, then apply. That's like the best way to mix your product without necessarily spoiling it. So there you have it. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did find it helpful or useful, please give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe down below if you aren't subscribed. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.